In this lesson we're going to work on taking some um, problems given to us using an English phrase and, um, and then putting those into a mathematical statement and then of, and then of course answering the question. Uh, so this first one says find the product of negative 8 and 53. So the word product um, always indicates multiplication. So we have negative 8 times 53. Now we recall that if we have a negative times a positive, the answer will be negative, so I'll just make that mark right now. And then over on the side here, we'll do just a little bit of long multiplication. And so we end up with 424, so our answer is negative 424. Next one says, what is twice the number negative 7? Okay, well, the word twice, if you take twice something, really that just means two times. Also, the word double means two times. And so we would write this as just 2 times negative 7. And we have a positive times a negative, so that will also give me a negative result. And then 2 times 7, we should just have memorized as negative 14. The third one here says, find the quotient of negative 81 and negative 3. So the word quotient um, means division. And just like the word difference um, for subtraction tells you to just subtract in the order of the numbers given, um, the word quotient means divide in the order of the numbers given. So negative 81 came first, so that will come first in my division. And negative 3 came second. Now we know the answer is going to be positive because it's a negative divided by a negative. And over on the side here we'll do a little bit of long division to figure out exactly what the answer is. So 3 goes into 8 twice. Remainder of 2, drop the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. And so we get an answer of 27. All right, the next one says, what is 36 divided by negative 4? So um, here we just take it right in order, 36 divided by negative 4. And it's a positive divided by a negative, so I know the answer is negative. And 36 divided by 4 is 9, so our answer is negative 9. Now I want you to compare the wording here, 36 divided by negative 4, to the wording in this next one. What is negative 7 divided into 56? So when it says divided into 56, this is kind of like uh, when we had subtraction, uh, the phrase subtracted from or less than, where we had to flip-flop the order that the numbers were given in. Because if I'm dividing 7 into 56, what that really means is 56 divided by negative 7. And we, of course, know that our answer should be negative because it's a positive divided by a negative. And 56 divided by 7 is 8. So our answer here is negative 8. Uh, 